Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be going over everything that I crocheted in the month of May. As always, the patterns will be linked in the description box below, and without further ado, I'm just going to get into it. The first thing that I made in the month of May is these little flower bouquets. I made six of them in a lot of different colors. It was partly an effort to use up some scrap yards, and also just to make flowers for Mother's Day. The second thing that I made in the month of May is a I finished up a granny square bag. I already had the sunflowers like granny squares made and but I finished up joining them and making the handle. The next thing that I finished up was um, this little sunflower sea turtle. I had most I think most of it made. I just didn't have any of it assembled and I didn't have the petals done. The next thing I made was a commission piece and it was a monstera plant. She wanted like a mini version to put into her car to hang on the rear view mirror. And then I made a second one so that I could make a tutorial for it. The next thing that I made was these adorable little scrap yarn projects to use up some yarn and they're little baby octos. The pattern is crochet by Jenna on YouTube. The next thing was just a bit of a fun project. I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could make a little baby Nemo. So I made a clownfish. Next, I made three little mushroom boys. They turned out different sizes because I think they were just different yarns, like yarn brands. They were both four weights, but slightly different. Um, I made three of them. The third one, I accidentally skipped a row in. So it went into my crochet acts of kindness video. The next thing that I made was also part of the Crochet Acts of Kindness video and I made too many frogs to use up some scrap yarn and the pattern was by Kitty Bean Creative and I don't have them anymore because they already went out into the community to find new homes but I will have a photo of them on screen. Next I made two bigger mushroom boys still by Chunky Crochet on Ribbler. I just double stranded them so it's the same pattern they just were bigger because I used two pieces of yarn instead of one. The next thing that I made has been on my to-do list for a long time but it was one of the first things that I ever tried to make as a crocheter and so it was a bit advanced to be my first project. I made these two little triceratops. One of them is just a regular triceratops and one of them has embroidered eyes and little bells in it so it can be a baby rattle because my nursery is going to be dinosaur themed for our new baby. The pattern is by Club Crochet on YouTube. The next thing I also don't have because it was part of the Crochet Random Acts of Kindness video but I made 14 popsicle holders, 4 watermelon slices, and a leggy frog. The popsicle holders and the watermelon slices were just freehanded but the leggy frog pattern was by Color Carnival and I just decided to include it because I messed up where I put the legs on it. I needed to adjust them um, and I didn't feel like redoing it. I also made five mini hearts for the Crochet Acts of Kindness video and I used Hook by Robin's pattern to do that. Next I made two baby caterpillar baby rattles. Um, they, I did release a pattern for this and you don't have to make them into baby rattles. You could just have cute little caterpillar friends. Um, but I made them for my new baby because whenever I had my daughter, I made her like a jumbo caterpillar plush. And so I wanted to kind of just like honor that tradition and make little tiny ones. The last thing that I made in the month of May was two commission pieces. They were positive potatoes that... Um, some people had asked me to make as end of the year teacher gifts and so I don't have them since I already gave them to them but I'll put a photo on the screen and I actually should be having a tutorial come out for the potato pattern that I made freehanded so make sure that you subscribe if you want to see more things like that. Overall I think I had around 54 completed projects um, a lot of them were smaller, so that seems like a big number, but it honestly could have been more productive of a month. We just had a lot of hospital visits and doctor's appointments and things pop up with our pregnancy that kept me out of crochet commission for a little bit. I look forward to challenging myself for the month of June and seeing how much I can get done. 
If you want to see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys are crocheting in the comment section below. I always love seeing inspiration from what other people are making. If you watched this video, thank you so much for your time, and I am so glad to have you here. Y'all have a good day.